everybody and welcome to Miller Park, aka AmFam Field, which is a garbage name for this stadium. We are here tailgating at Miller Park today in the parking lot, preferred parking like the bougie Brewers fans that we are. Totally. And we are here to review some eh, somewhat tailgate beers a little bit. Not um, even close. Here on the channel, not even close. <laughs> I don't know, kind of close. So we've actually had some beers uh, from these guys sitting in the fridge since March Madness time frame when Mr. Andy Lau, who you've seen on the channel, um, was uh, in town for March Madness. Has and he been on the channel? He has been on the channel for uh, the Advent Calendar beers. You're right. You're right. Mr. Andy Lau. So he brought us some stuff from a little brewery called Lazy Monk out of Eau Claire, Wisconsin. So we're going to crack these open and dive right into them here in our tailgate. So the first one we've got, Ross is going to talk about. Um, so again, from Lazy Monk up in Eau Claire, this one is their 2022 Maybach. Uh, comes in at 7.1%. Um, you know, a typical Maybach, it states here, multi, blonde, robust. Blonde without an E though, kind of weird. But um, blonde. Blonde. Blo yeah, like blown. Blonde. 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 I don't know. It might be blonde. We don't know. No. So let's get this cracked open. Josh, you want to give me your glass? So it's hard to tell with the yellow glass, but it is pouring up pretty clear from like when I'm pouring it out. You know, similar to what you would think with a Maybach. Um, not overly dark. I think a little more amber color for Maybach, but um, yeah, it looks pretty light. It's pretty clear. Fairly well filtered. Yeah. Get a little nose on it. Yeah. Very definitely su that sweet. Yeah. It's um, kind of like a caramel sweetness to it. With yeah. um, you, you can definitely smell that malt behind it too, though. I mean, you can tell it's going to be a multi beer, which it should be. For sure. Absolutely should be. So not bitter, not hoppy. No. no. Um, very much in that German, that Maybach yeah. style. And my box are traditionally like drinking in like the springtime, so we're maybe a little out of season for it, but I still think it's a good time. They're refreshing, so. Yeah. Let's give it a shot. All right, cheers. Cheers. Ooh. You know, it's, it's got that really nice kind of like start to like a multi German Oktoberfest, but then that sweetness that comes at the back end. Um, Really, it just becomes really refreshing and just wow. kind of a, um, you know, actually, I may be wrong. This is actually a damn good tailgate beer. So. This is a damn yeah. good tailgate beer. Yeah, it starts off strong. It starts off extremely malty. And then that sweetness really kicks in. We had a Cardinals fan who was very interested in what we're doing here. <laughs> um, but it starts off very... Uh, very malty, and then that sweetness kicks in, and it it out the back end of the beer, you just kind of get that bit of sweetness. It's very yeah. smooth. It's very refreshing. Um, it's like two different beers almost. It's really it, it, it's really well done. It, really, it I mean, changes significantly yeah. from malt to sweetness out the back. You yeah, know, and like sure. sitting at seven point one, it's I wouldn't guess it's a seven one. I mean, I know we review a lot of beers that are high in ABV, so seven one kind of tends to fall in the middle for us, but still, like this one, I would never guess is 7-1. So. No, it's a big beer, um, yeah. you know, for a tailgate beer, quite frankly, but solid. Definitely would drink this at other tailgates in the future. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so the other one that we got here from Lazy Monk is a little different. This is not a tailgate beer per se, um, but this is a peanut butter milk stout from them. So this one comes in at an ABV of 6.7%. 18 IBUs, so not a lot of bitterness to this. Let's crack this thing open. I'm going to expect a dark beer here. Pretty dark, a little browner than I was expecting coming out of the can being a stout, but it looks pretty solid. Yeah. Uh, it looks a little chocolatey, which I hope is the case. Yeah. Let's get a little nose on this thing. Oh man. Whoa, peanut butter. Yeah, it's all peanut butter. There's a little chocolate in there, but it's mainly peanut butter. Yeah, you've got some of the sweeter stout characteristics there, but you take a deep breath in and you just get peanut butter. Yeah. That's that's what's on the nose big time. Yep. 
I'm it's curious. All... I'm curious. Peanut butter is an iffy thing in beer. We'll mm -hmm. see what we've got here. So let's try it out. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh, it's pretty good. Um, I think the peanut butter, the peanut butter, oddly, for as much as it is on the nose, it's definitely there on the palate, but it's more subtle than you actually think it is. Um, I'm getting a lot of peanut butter. I mean, in a pleasant way. It's not overpowering. It's a milk stout. It's a little bit creamier. You've got kind of that lactose component to mm -hmm. it, which plays really nicely in here. Um, I'm not getting that, like, PB2 powder, like... no. no note to it it's very clean peanut butter um a little bit of maybe a little bit of chocolate in there a little bit but not much it's no. mostly just peanut butter and milk stout which i'm gonna be honest even as a tailgate beer it's kind of good it feels good oh, right now good, it's yeah. only about 80 degrees out here a nice little breeze <laughs> here um it's feeling pretty good yeah no i mean and i said like it like i'm tasting peanut butter the whole way through i guess what i mean when the subtleness of it it's it's not like punch you in the face like yeah. oh my god it's it's the pb2 powder peanut butter it's it's subtle where it's like it's pleasant all the way through it's um it's not overly sweet but it's got just enough sweetness for that milk stout where it doesn't like take over everything um yeah. oh, it's real tasty so really really solid um so where would you rate these two beers? Start with um, the Maybach and then the peanut butter milk stout. So the Maybach, I'm gonna stick at, um, I'm a sucker for Maybach, I'm gonna stick at a four. I really, Maybach. really, really like Maybachs. Um, for this one, I'm gonna stick at about three and a half. So. Okay, that's fair. Um, the Maybach, I'm actually gonna go four and a quarter. It's actually one of the better Maybachs I can remember yeah. having. Perfect kind of spring to summer ish mm -hmm. beer. I think it was really, really well done. I'm actually going to go 375. So I went a quarter up on you both yep. ways on the peanut butter milk stout. I think this is really well done. Peanut butter is always iffy in beers um, and they did it well. So yep. uh, I'm going to go with 375 on this thing. Really, really solid um, peanut butter milk stout. So. Yep. And Lazy Monk, I mean, if, if you guys are up in the Eau Claire, Eau Claire area, strongly recommend Lazy Monk. I love it. I've been up there a couple times. Um, kind of like a German beer hall feel to it. It's a dog-friendly bar. At least last time I was there it was. Maybe it's not anymore. Um, really cool place. I would definitely definitely recommend checking out if you're ever up there. I've never been, but I've heard great things yeah. from you and Mr. Lau, so um, we'll definitely intend to check it out next time in, I'm in Eau Claire. So. Absolutely. All right, well, thank you for watching. Uh, Go Brewers. Check us out on the rest of our social media channels. We are on Instagram. We are on Twitter. We are on Facebook. We are on Untapped. Instagram. Untapped. Which one did I not say? I don't know. <laughs> We're on Untapped. <laughs> also, check us out here on YouTube. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see all of you in a future episode after this Brewers win. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.